blood all over the floor. I saw blood up the wall. I saw blood on the wall. Frazier remained mostly stoic in court as the often gruesome details about his fiance's alleged murder were rattled off. The moment that I found out that she had been missing, the first words that came out of my mouth were he did something to her. The story you're about to explore is one that unfolded in the peaceful town of Woodland Park. It's a tale filled with intrigue, love, betrayal, and a sense of disbelief that captivated the nation's interest. Amidst the backdrop of this picturesque town, Kelsey Barrett's life journey took an unexpected and chilling turn, drawing the collective attention of a nation. Join us as we delve into this enigmatic narrative where the ordinary conceals the extraordinary and where justice becomes the ultimate quest in the face of an unthinkable tragedy. Kelsey was born on September 19, 1989, in the state of Washington. She grew up in a loving family, where she was instilled with values of hard work and determination. From a young age, Kelsey exhibited a natural curiosity and an eagerness to learn. She excelled in her studies and showed a particular interest in aviation. She approached life with a vigor that inspired those around her. Whether it was tackling her schoolwork or embracing new challenges, she approached each endeavor with an unwavering commitment to excellence. After completing her education, Kelsey moved to Colorado, where she pursued her dream of becoming a pilot instructor. She settled in Woodland Park, a town known for its stunning natural beauty and welcoming community. She earned her pilot's license at a young age, a remarkable achievement that foreshadowed her future career as a pilot instructor. Kelsey's ambition and dedication were evident to all who knew her, and her family took pride in her. Her ability to navigate the complexities of aviation and master the art of flight at such a young age hinted at a future that promised to be as bright as the sun that graced the endless horizons she yearned to explore. Kelsey's family watched with immense pride as she charted this unique course in life. They marveled at her ambition and dedication, qualities that were evident to all who had the privilege of knowing her. In Kelsey, they saw a young woman whose spirit soared alongside the plane she piloted, a living embodiment of the notion that dreams could indeed take flight. Amidst her dedication to her career, Fate brought her into the path of Patrick Frazy, a fellow resident of the town. From their very first encounter, a spark ignited between them, like two stars aligning in the vast night sky. Patrick, like Kelsey, was a resident of Woodland Park, and he too was drawn to the natural beauty and close-knit community that defined the town. Their connection blossomed as they spent time together, forging a bond built on shared experiences and mutual interests. As their relationship deepened, Kelsey found herself not only pursuing her passion for aviation, but also exploring the joys of companionship and love. Their connection added a new layer of fulfillment to Kelsey's already inspiring journey, and it wasn't long before they had a child together, a beautiful daughter named Kaylee. Kaylee's presence brought an abundance of joy and love into their lives, cementing their bond as a family. Kelsey Barrett was last seen on Thanksgiving Day, a holiday that traditionally brings families together in gratitude. On that fateful day, she had been spotted wearing a white shirt, a gray sweater to ward off the late November chill, and blue pants possibly blue jeans. Her brown purse and white shoes were the finishing touches to her attire that day, a picture of an ordinary woman preparing to enjoy the holiday with her loved ones. In response to her inexplicable disappearance, the close-knit community rallied together. Neighbors and friends, their hearts heavy with concern, gathered for a vigil over the weekend. They joined hands in solidarity united by the common hope for Kelsey's safe return. In the glow of candlelight, they offered their prayers and well wishes, casting a collective plea into the night, a plea that echoed through the town streets and into the hearts of those who yearned for answers. 
As the days turned into weeks, the mystery of Kelsey's disappearance continued to puzzle investigators and lay heavy on the hearts of her loved ones, leaving everyone to wonder where she might be and what had transpired on that Thanksgiving day that had forever altered the course of her life. In these challenging times, the Barrett family found solace in the support of their community. Their strength lay in their unity, and they held on to the unwavering belief that Kelsey would be found safe and sound. As the days turned into weeks, this steadfast hope became a beacon of light amidst the darkness of uncertainty. The police investigation had thus far yielded no answers. When they arrived at Kelsey's home, they found it empty, a quiet place that should have been filled with the laughter and presence of a loving mother. The neighbors, who had always been attentive to the comings and goings of their community, had noticed neither hide nor hair of Kelsey in the days leading up to her disappearance. Her boyfriend, Patrick Frazee, was also at the center of this mysterious puzzle. He stated that he hadn't seen Kelsey since their last meeting to exchange their daughter, a statement that left investigators with more questions than answers. According to Patrick, their communication hadn't ceased after their meeting. They had talked and exchanged text messages during that period, a detail that suggested a semblance of normalcy in their relationship. Yet, a growing sense of unease lingered as he admitted to not having heard from Kelsey in the last couple of days before her sudden vanishing act. The abrupt absence of communication left many questions unanswered and fueled concerns about the circumstances surrounding Kelsey's disappearance. Friends and investigators alike wondered about the nature of the conversations that had transpired during those last mysterious days. In an effort to uncover more clues, authorities reached out to Kelsey's employer. What they discovered added another layer of intrigue to the unfolding mystery. They learned that Kelsey had sent a text message to her employer just a few days prior to her vanishing act. In this message, she had shared a deeply personal reason for her sudden need to take a week off from work. It was a poignant testament to her character, reflecting her sense of responsibility and the importance of family in her life. The text message revealed that Kelsey's grandmother required her care and attention during that upcoming week. It was a selfless act, a demonstration of her unwavering commitment to her family and an acknowledgement of the responsibilities that came with it. With the mystery surrounding Kelsey Barrett's disappearance deepening, the Teller County Sheriff's Office took swift and decisive action. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, they immediately began the process of searching for the missing woman. Time was of the essence, and every moment counted in their efforts to locate Kelsey and bring her safely home. One of their critical steps was to issue a search warrant to Verizon, the cell phone service provider. This warrant allowed authorities to access the records of Kelsey's cell phone, a valuable source of information that could potentially shed light on her whereabouts and the events leading up to her disappearance. Upon obtaining access to her cell phone records, investigators made a crucial discovery. They found a total of 19 communications between Kelsey's phone and that of Patrick Frazee, her boyfriend. Each text message, call, or interaction held the potential to reveal clues about Kelsey's state of mind, her activities, and the dynamics of her relationship with Patrick. The breakthrough in the investigation came when investigators noticed a single phone number among Patrick Frazee's regular day-to-day -day communications. Recognizing its significance, investigators wasted no time and dialed the number, leading them to a woman named Crystal Lee Kenny a 31-year-old nurse and former rodeo beauty queen residing in Gooding, Idaho. Initially, Crystal Lee Kenny maintained that she had no knowledge of Kelsey or Patrick. However, her story quickly took a dramatic turn. As she began to speak, a chilling narrative unfolded, and everything about the story turned dark and grim. She told investigators that she had a compelling reason to come forward, driven by her conscience and the desire to prevent Kelsey's family from enduring the agony of wondering what had happened to their beloved daughter. She revealed a horrifying truth. Patrick Frazee had killed Kelsey. Crystal Lee Kenny did not stop at this shocking admission. She went on to disclose that she had been involved in the aftermath of the crime. 
she admitted to driving to Kelsey's apartment to clean up the gruesome scene left behind. Following the tragic murder of the young woman, she confessed to her involvement in the disposal of Kelsey's belongings. She admitted to transporting Kelsey's phone, purse, and ID back to her residence in Ohio, where she subsequently burned these items on her property. The connection between Crystal and Patrick dated back several years when she had traveled to Colorado to explore some horses he had for sale. Patrick, who specialized in training cattle dogs and worked as a farrier, handling the shoeing and hoof trimming of horses, shared many interests with the former rodeo queen. This common ground had sparked a long-distance romance between them, but over time, the intensity of their relationship had dwindled. Crystal found herself unable to carry out the horrific act as originally planned. Patrick, not willing to abandon his sinister intentions, provided her with an aluminum baseball bat and instructed her to ambush Kelsey once more. After a third failed attempt, Patrick sent Crystal back home on Thanksgiving night. Then, in a phone call, Patrick informed Crystal that the deed had been done. He instructed her to prepare herself for a gruesome task, cleaning up the crime scene. He would provide her with a key to Kelsey's residence, where she was to meticulously eliminate any trace of evidence. Patrick went on to provide gruesome details of how he had taken Kelsey's life. He claimed that they had met up to share a small Thanksgiving meal at her place. Earlier in the day, security footage from a local Safeway grocery store captured Kelsey and her daughter, Kaylee, shopping for ingredients for a sweet potato casserole, a seemingly ordinary Thanksgiving preparation. Further camera security footage from Kelsey's next-door neighbor's home painted a disturbing picture. It showed Kelsey, her daughter Casey, and Patrick entering the home together as a group. Nothing appeared amiss in the footage, a stark contrast to the horrific events that had transpired within those walls. The convergence of these grim details unveiled a chilling narrative, one of betrayal, deception, and a shocking act of violence. The investigation would now delve deeper into uncovering the truth behind these events, seeking justice for Kelsey Barrett, whose life had been tragically cut short on that fateful Thanksgiving day. The trial of Patrick Frazee and Crystal Lee Kenny became a highly publicized legal proceeding that captivated the nation's attention. It unfolded as a riveting courtroom drama, revealing the gruesome details of Kelsey Barrett's murder and the roles played by the defendants. Patrick Frazee, charged with the murder of Kelsey Barrett, faced a series of legal battles. The prosecution meticulously presented its case laying out a narrative that portrayed Frazee as the mastermind behind a sinister plot to kill Kelsey. They highlighted the chilling details of how Frazee had allegedly sought the assistance of Crystal Lee Kenny to carry out the murder, only to later take matters into his own hands. Crystal, who had admitted to her involvement in the crime, faced her own legal challenges. Her role as both an accomplice and a witness added a complex layer to the trial. Her testimony became a pivotal element in unraveling the events leading up to Kelsey's murder. Throughout the trial, both the prosecution and the defense teams presented evidence, called witnesses, and cross-examined each other's arguments. The courtroom was filled with tension as the jury and spectators listened to the harrowing accounts of what had transpired on that tragic Thanksgiving day. She pleaded guilty to tampering with evidence. As the trial progressed, the public followed the proceedings closely, trying to comprehend the motivations and actions of the defendants. The legal teams sparred over the evidence, providing a gripping legal spectacle that sought to answer the questions surrounding Kelsey's death. Patrick Frazee was found guilty of first-degree murder in the case of Kelsey Barrett. As a result, he received a life sentence in prison without the possibility of parole. The trial of Patrick Frazee and Crystal Lee Kenny served as a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath seemingly ordinary lives and relationships. It was a case that highlighted the dedication of law enforcement and the legal system to seek justice for the victims of heinous crimes, and it left a lasting impact on those who followed the proceedings as they grappled with the chilling details of Kelsey Barrett's tragic death. In the end, the story of Kelsey Barrett was one marked by love, 
betrayal, and a shocking act of violence that left a community and a nation in disbelief. Born with dreams of aviation and a promising future, Kelsey's life was abruptly cut short, and her memory forever etched in the hearts of those who loved her. The narrative unfolded as a haunting tale of a devoted mother, a woman with aspirations, and a community bound by their determination to uncover the truth. Kelsey's disappearance, initially shrouded in mystery, ultimately unraveled as investigators pieced together a dark and sinister plot.